right, let's get a look at our 2010 Dodge Ram right off the front. I do see that it does have a little bit of a dent here in the bumper. Kind of looking the hood over. Don't see any rock stone chips or anything like that or any rust on the hood. Windshield seems to be a little dirty, but other than that, in good condition. I do see one little chip here. Does not feel like that has been filled yet, so I will get that to Body Shop and see if we can get that filled. Little bit of rust here on the chrome bumper. Wheel well in good condition. This baby's just a little dirty. Tires look like they have about a half tread left. Driver door in fairly good condition. I do see a couple little scratches here and there. Along over here. And I do see a little bit of a scratch here in the driver mirror. As for rust, I do not see any rust on the driver door. Maybe a little bit right here, but I can't tell if it's dirty or if it's rust. Let's test that out. Maybe a little bit of rust starting right here. On the inside of the driver door, looks like it is in good condition. I do see a little rust along the bottom. Not bad for 2010 though. Your window switches do all work along with your lock and unlock. A little bit of rust here starting on the rocker, but like I said, not bad for 2010. This so is a fully autumn, or, uh, powered seat, memory seat positions one and two. You do have the foot pedal adjustments so it can raise and lower also. Over here you do have your heated and cooled seats. Both of those do work. Also your heated steering wheel does work. I have not taken this for a test drive just yet, but I will. You do have a power uh, window in the back. Driver's seat seems to be in good condition. I don't see any rips or tears, no burns. All right, rear driver door. Seems to be in good condition. We do have a little bit of a scuff with the paint transfer here. Moving along to the inside. Door seems to be in good condition. I don't see any rust on the bottom of the rear driver door. Rear driver rocker seems to be good and intact. I don't see any rust starting. Maybe just a couple little discolorations of rust starting. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm scratching that right off, so that is not rust. Back seats are in really good condition. I don't see any rips, tears, or burns. Let's see here. Yes, yeah, so that needs to be cleaned. That was just some gunk that needs to be taken off there. I did pop a CD in the CD player that is fully functioning. Back here in the rear, they do have heated seats back here also, when those are fully functioning. They also have the ports, so that way they could listen to their own um, movie as it plays. There is two, um, at least one headset in there that I did see. I'll have to look again and see if there was a second headset. Underneath, there is storage under the seats. Moving on to the box. Let's get a good look in these cab corners here. A little bit of rust starting back in the cab corner, but really not bad at all. Couple little spots inside the gas cap. No rust inside the gas cap. Box condition looks good. I'm not seeing any dents, any scratches, or any rust. You got your backup sensors on your tailgate, along with your hitch and your trailer wiring. Drop this gate. It does have a nice spray-in bed liner back here, along with the hard tonneau cover. I do see a little bit of bubbling down here on the body of the truck behind the bumper. Let me come over here and make sure there's none over here. None on this side.
A little bit of pine sap there that is coming off. A little bit of a nick here along with a little bit of rust starting. Passenger wheel well looks good and clean. I do not see any rust or dents or scratches. Two little nicks here on the wheel well that does have a little bit of rust started in them. Cab corners on this side. I do see a little bit of rust here on the inside also, but this is very minor also. Rear passenger door in very good condition. I don't see any scratches, dents, or rust. Moving on to the inside of the door. Door is in very good shape. I do not see any rust along the bottom. Rocker's a little dirty, but other than that, it is rust free. Again, same thing over here. Seats are in really good condition on this. You do have extra cup holders up here. Cup holders on the floor. And another storage unit down here. Oh, actually, we got a speaker down underneath here. I wonder if this lifts up, too. This does not lift up. So no storage on this side, but we do have a speaker down here. Learning something new today. On to the passenger door. Passenger door looks to be in good shape. I do not see any scratches, rusts, or dents. We do have a power seat up front also for the passenger. We have some storage. This is an iPod cord and it looks like they left this in here so that's a bonus. Glove box. I do not see no owner's manual but good thing we can get those online nowadays so you don't even have to worry about that. Just download them to a PDF and you have it right there at your fingertips. I do not see any rust along the, the front passenger door and the rocker is rust free also. Front passenger wheel well looks to be in very good shape and these tires are nice Cooper tires and they seem to have at least a half tread left on them. And there we have our 2010 Dodge Ram.